By the time something starts trending on Twitter, it may already be too late to contain the damage done to your company's reputation, sales and share price. Think of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 batteries catching fire in 2016. Bad news travels fast, especially when there are 6,000 tweets a second worldwide. iSentium is a company that collects and analyzes all of that social media sentiment in real time and turns it into tradable data. Today I'm joined by Chief Executive Gautam Sastry. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Gautam, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. It's great to be here. Now, to set the scene, how influential is it what people say on social media to your brand, to your sales? There's about 25 trillion bytes of human expression occurring as we speak. And uh, that's a running commentary about everything that you produce, sell, do, etc. And if you look at Uber, perception is very, very important. Bad news can spread instantaneously across the globe. So uh, given that stock price is the ultimate reflection of overall brand perception. And you're analyzing all of this social media content on Twitter and other platforms. And it's not always written in proper sentences. So how difficult is it to analyze? Well, uh, we've become more primitive in our expression. So there's large chunks of grammatical structure missing. And uh, we use artificial intelligence to extract what's meant but not stated. That's an extraordinarily complex process. Uh, and our head linguist is in fact a fellow of the Royal Society and she works with five PhDs, so non-trivial problem. And also all these uh, abbreviations that are used on social media? The abbreviations change all the time as well. So. Uh, We've got about 13,000 abbreviations uh, that we refer to as of today. Now, in the main, you don't use humans to do this work, and you couldn't use humans to do this work. Why not? Because there's just too much of it. You know, 2,000 tweets per second is what we process. I don't know anyone that could read that many tweets in a day, uh, let alone a second. And it continues nonstop. So uh, you need machines. Now, you say that we need a completely different skill set. So previously, you've employed computer scientists and mathematicians, and now you need linguists and even psychologists. So what are the challenges of that? Well, uh, there's two challenges. One is, uh, in the world of finance, you need people that care about making money, and those tend to be the mathematicians. And then you have people that are just in pursuing an understanding of human conditions, which are the linguists. So. Getting the two of them to work together is a management challenge. And what happens if a company decides to ignore what's being said on social media? They think, we have a good product, we don't really mind what people say. They're likely to be surprised at how much uh, what's being said matters. They're probably unaware of how much is being said. And uh, they may miss the next hit product because uh, they may not have enough stuff to sell uh, that they didn't realize was going to be so popular. So uh, there are profound implications. And, uh, you know, a whole day's production of New York Stock Exchange data is four seconds of Twitter. So you just can't ignore that much content. And this also helps, doesn't it, in stock trading, buying shares. How does it help? Well, uh, it helps because people will be surprised. Sentiment trends precede price trends by up to six weeks. And uh, since we've actually been vetted by JP Morgan uh, and NASDAQ, uh, I'm not just making this up. In addition, the index that we co-branded with JP Morgan uh, delivered 18% returns last year. Those are real returns. So, so the markets are quick, aren't they? But you can be even quicker in spotting trends. Yeah, if you see something six weeks before price starts moving, you have a lot of time to actually put on a meaningful trade. Being forced to react in 30 seconds, you really can't do that. I mean, if you're a day trader, you may be, but not institutions. And how do you think that this area is going to move in the next few years? It's a really fast-moving area, isn't it? It is a fast-moving area, and uh, the next degree of complexity is people will just take photos or videos and annotate them 
so you can imagine how much number crunching will be required to figure out what they're actually trying to convey. And you'll have to put a number on it, won't you? If this piece of video about this brand is positive or negative? Correct. And uh, which demographic is wearing which shoes, for example? You can tell all of that. Well, Gautam, thank you very much. A pleasure. And join us next time when we'll be discussing the latest innovations in digital banking and artificial intelligence. Bye-bye for now.